M0FXB, welcome back to my videos on the X6100 and X6200. The reason for this video is that the X6100 has new firmware that I've installed. So take a look at this. See that you've now got the full width band scope, or let's call it waterfall. If I turn that, we've got the audio scope back. Now we've been asking for them to give us the option to remove that for a few years now and we've now got it with firmware version 1.1.8 and i've definitely made a video installing it so let's do it on the 200 we're just going to turn there you go do that again you have to do two turns of the back knob and look audio scope let's bring back the other one the mfk is the one you use on the X6100. So take a look. So now that I've I'm here, the, the the display screens are they are different. If you look at the 200, it is a deeper sort of darker color. They're both still really very nice to use. I do prefer them without the audio scope. And we'll just do that one again. Let's listen to one. Let's turn one down. I do have my LED light on. That's why you're getting that buzz. So we'll turn the X6100 up. It, there is an external speaker. If I unplug it, it is quite tinny. So I always use an external speaker on the 100. Let's turn this to 192. Push DFN and the noise reduction. Let's turn that on. There's another station here, isn't there? Yeah, that's probably a better test. So noise reduction on. 7.196. Let's turn that down. Okay, we'll go to 7.196. Similar wires, long... Long wires, but one's got a 49 to 1 ballon, one's got a 9 to 1 ballon. Let's turn that up. Now, this is the internal speaker. It, the, the internal speaker on the 200 is better. If I unplug the 100 and turn it up. It's okay, it's just a bit sharper. It's you completely usable. Turn that down, turn this one up. Why they do the knobs so you have to turn them so many times? So what's the difference between the two? The main difference, the 200 has FT8 decode on screen. You don't get that on the 100. They both have Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. The Bluetooth has been enhanced on both models and the Wi-Fi, both do have a WFU server, but you can't get Bluetooth audio, you have to use a little sender, little Bluetooth sender, they're only seven pound, you plug them into the speaker out. But you can see the difference, the, the new waterfall, it does look different than it did before the firmware update, and I'll show you if we go to general, then system setting, go to firmware, system info and that's the latest 1.8 1.7 uh, of course it's going to be different on the Zygu but we'll do it anyway system system info press and that's what it is on the Zygu I believe there's going to be a new one on the way uh, we're looking at 1.01 .01. I, I think there'll be another one soon so just go back with the general button no exit button sorry so if you've already got an X6100, I think you're going to be very pleased with this update. Turn it down completely, plug my speaker back in. It's just an icon speaker. Um, the 
they both do the job well. You can speed up the AGC. You can sharpen all this up if you go into the display settings. Look at the display settings there. And if we do it on this one, on the Zygu, look at all the settings where you can customize the different colors compared to the 100. Removable battery on the 200, there's no removable battery. The 100, you, you have to buy the battery and fit it, but it's not that hard to fit. You just take the sides off. Removable battery, yeah. You know, if someone said to me, well, if what would you buy, an X6 100 or 200? I'd probably say, well, look, for the sake of an extra 200 pound, you may as well get the newer model. I do feel that the design of the 200 case is, a, is I don't know, I, I don't know if better is the right word, but I like, I like both. But if I had to choose, I think I would go for the 200. But hey, I'd rather just have both. You've got the Zygu words lighting up there instead of the green LED. The firmware update is still just the SD card on the side. Out of the box, they both easily do WSJTX. They've got two USB outs. You can plug a keyboard into these and use your keyboard. No, you can't get Bluetooth audio. You're not going to get that. You've got the time here, RIT as well. Signal meter's blue. I don't know why they did blue. I uh, prefer green. When you, They both have built-in antenna tuners that work very, very well. So if you own one of these, you're going to like it a lot. Okay. Now I do, the, the X6100 does feel smaller. Uh, anyway, I thought I'd show you them side by side because of the new firmware upgrade. And if you've got an X6100, I think, well done to Zygu. 7.3, all the best.